for this week and for the end of the time we will see you on that as well. My name is Shani, Shani Monica, and I'm going to be taking the first class of the day. And it's from the book of Isaiah, chapter 25, verse 6 to 9. Isaiah 25, 6 to 9. On this mountain, the Lord Almighty will prepare a feast of wheat, which will be made for all peoples, a banquet of eight to one. The best of meats and the finest of wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the shell that involves all the peoples, the sheep that covers all the nations. He will swallow up death forever. The sovereign God will wipe away the tears from all faces. He will remove his people's disgrace from all the earth the Lord has spoken. Verse 9. In that day, they will say, Surely this is our God. We trusted in him and he saved us. This is the Lord who trusted in him. Let us rejoice and be glad in his salvation. And that is the Lord of God.
There's nothing much you can say. In life, everybody has their pathway when they exit. This was just a fine. It is painful, it is sad, but it is God's time. Otherwise, uh, our family, I know, uh, because of friends, especially the friends that I know, will still stand with you. There's a group that uh, we are standing with uh, Joseph called the Bonds Group. We've uh, been with Joseph for a while. Uh, there's a group in Uzima, the Ura Group. I know we will still continue standing with you and take heart. Uh, you know, there are things you can't change in life. And when you can't change things, you see how to, how to deal with them. Otherwise, for any son and family, for any friends, and uh, we will be with you until we are in the country. As I'm After Kalika, we shall have Rose, the sister. the clergy, to the family, friends and relatives, all in protocol of that. I stand here, my name is Tabitha Ojoa. I, I stand here to represent Baby Smile Kenya. Baby Smile Kenya is the last station that Ochie worked at. Even though I worked with Oche at Plan International, but uh, it's difficult. It's really difficult to talk about it. The reason why it is difficult to talk about Chief is because Chief was a unifying really factor at our place of work. Chief was a good person. But the way that's the way we were calling him at work. <coughs> Chief was humble. He was one of those senior staff at making his life But the way he would speak with all the staff, you would not tell that chief is a boss. I can't remember ever seeing Joseph get angry for all the years that I worked with him. He was a special person, and even if you went with, to him in a manner that was a little aggressive, he had a way of calming you down bringing you back to a sober level, and then you discuss what you needed to discuss. As many this my Kenya fraternity, we have lost a friend. We have lost a father to the young police. We have lost a broken person, and we will surely miss him. The family, Mama, I know that we cannot promise to be there every day, but I'm sure some of us visited you. We will support whatever we can according to God's will. It is God's will that Joseph has rested in a very sad way, but we pray for you, we pray for his friends. We pray for this church where Joseph was worshipping because when our congregant leaves, there's a gap that is left. We pray for our fellow colleagues, the ones that we worked with last, the ones that we worked with before. It is the way that we will all take when the time comes. But above all, God is all. Thank you.
I don't know my instructions. I don't think it's not possible to be able to use my Because there are so many things to be said about you. Our brother was always there for us. A cool guy, always smiling, and always encouraging us as a family. Now that he's gone, we just pray that God give us a day. We miss you, and we miss you dearly. Our silent prayer, and God comes to rest. Thank you so much, my sister. And now I'm going to call you. Joseph, home, child, teacher. Helen, Atiel. Even my, my mom was allowed to be here. 
he says this is a son, and she has lost her son. Was me and to add to as my sister to stay strong, continue to be hard. God will take care of you and your children, and we will be for you with God's help. Thank you for the comments that you come out in a big way to support my sister. We really appreciate the time of you. Thank you. He was not breathing. 
My sister told me to be very happy the morning as usual. She calls me every two days to find out how I am. But that morning when she called, she just as she was pleasant, she asked me if I am I told her I am Kajir. Then she told me, Miss Jalala, and told me what was happening. I promised to go and see her after doing a few things in the house. But in about two hours, they made very many phone calls to me to be there because she wanted me to be there with her. So when I went, I found her home. And this is the outcome. We discovered this was the outcome. But we thank God for the 26 years. He has allowed, allowed the, the, we are called the Ashonos. The Ashonos is a big family. May I ask all of the Ashonos who are in the house just to stand up and wait to the church? And when it comes, he normally sits in the middle there. To Rosalind and the children to lose such a kind, patient member of our church. Even Rosalind herself is very calm and God knows why. They are very strong members of our church. It may not overwhelm well with the family, but kindly Rosalind and the entire family, the children. We may talk here, but the person who is going to take care of you is God. And I want to encourage you, journey. life is a journey. And in this journey we walk, and I want to compare it with uh, passengers on board, that when you go on, see if you have never prayed. And now the burden that you have is to pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for your family. Pray for these children. And the Another secret I have to give you. You are still mourning. You want to mourn to cry. Cry because no
and we possess something that was in him. He loved his family so much at the road than they knew who he was talking about. Because we had a problem with our, with our so the school bus will not come to, to our gate. And he told me, you wake up to the breakfast and I'm the one who takes the baby to the room. And I always thank him for that. When my children remain in the house, my uh, kind of work is about traveling. I travel a lot. You know this time that he's cutting the onions, he can is cutting the tomatoes, he tell them to walk in whatever they want to eat. And they will always have their own uh their college in the movie. They always have their time. Even when we do not have a job at some point. I remember that the day we only had two approximations on him. Then, as I started to look for money, I take a motorbike. He was attacked by three cars who on another motorbike. And I took him to the hospital and I was told that uh, the guy who was carrying him, he was not hurt so much. So he told me to come and take him to the hospital. He did. He went there, he was in the hospital for six days, and uh, his main problem was the bleeding from one ear. So that's why he had to spend six, there, six days there. So on my feet, he was discharged and came back home. My father in law was happy. For the six days he was in the hospital, my father in law was in the house because he had come to his own uh, clinic. And, uh, it was such an emotional thing. He used to cry daily. He would call a day. When I come to the hospital, I would go to the hospital, stay with my husband the whole day, go home to freshen up, I come back at night to stay with him at the hospital. When I come, I would always try to hide him from Sapa or whatever I had to Sapa. Sapa was not for his son. That was his personal son. On the weekend, I asked him uh, if he could go out because we were there three of us, and to my son and him, told him to be in the house for long. Why don't you go out for lunch? He told him to be here. So as we were leaving, just as we were pushing the gate, he still stopped and told him to hold his hand. So I asked him, why don't you be my wife? So we just went and had our lunch, we came back at 6 p.m. But as we were leaving to go back to the car, I then he told me to move his hand. So I held his hand up to the car and he moved back to the car. That reason I tried uh, as, uh, to just interrogate him to see in case there's anything that is doing that. So from there, I have to okay. Then on the street, he also complained about our blood muscle pain. He also felt like um, and he told me that he had muscle pains and joint pains. And he concluded that this could be my level. Okay. I'm going to church when I come back and talk. So I went to church and um, came back to the evening. But when I was in church, I did not speak to the American. Your husband has sent me for some and he asked me. 
but it is very peaceful then we go together.
then I just told me, so that I came out again. Then another nurse told me, no, we still said to you, I'll go back. So I went back and sat. Then a third nurse came and told me, was it dead to me? When I had that word, I wished it had to be prepared to me. So I called his friend, the chief, and asked him, the chief, what does it suscitate to me? I was hoping he'd give me a different thing. In his wisdom, he did not answer me. He just told me, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Then I told my sister, I told her, he says, <coughs> I noticed there's no other definition for this aspect. Then uh, I saw the three doctors come in and they told me that they have tried and to And that is how I said. But he, that day, he was talking. I can't say he was telling me he was talking. If you come there, you will always expect me to be talking. Um, even though he has gone, I just thank God for the 28 years we worked together. I got married to him. I wouldn't say. Even to my relatives and friends, that I would say that this is the He was special. My mom was sick with TB. And more at home, how TB is considered. And everybody was scared of staying with my mom. The moment he had that, he told me, do me a mother here. The only thing I would test is that every morning when you wake up, he opened her windows. As long as she's on drugs, there's no problem. My mother stayed with us for nine people. No complaint. I'll go out to the field and Joseph will tell my mom sit in that sitting room, not talk to my teacher. We will do with that with my mom. And my mom today she says even her own son cannot be her. He was a very special person, valued his friends very, very much, and he taught me to trust. To trust. Because most of the time, if your husband lives at what home he is, he will always get his child. But he was always telling me, if you want peace, we are all grown up in this house. Trust me when I tell you I'm in such a such a place, that is where I am. When I tell you I'm in so and so, that is where I am. And for sure, even as a sneaky wife would do, we would call the court. I'm looking for what I've done. You tell me this time, it would So, I stopped calling because I realized when he tells me he's here, that's where he is. But he will understand me. If I tell him elsewhere, and then something happens to me, how do I explain it? So I would say I've lost a very wonderful man. And that is why I always say that if I'm asked to choose again, and if I'm asked them, I still choose him. Because he understood me. He understood us, he understood my children, and the gap he has left in our family. His friends, both male and female, they tell us where he has worked, where he has been, the people he has met in his life have come out in a big way just to stay for and to condone with us. I thank you all. My friends, my church, have come out in a big way just to support us and deserve the love. It's only that 
you get emotional, you get emotional to get so much, because even when it was emotional, you are not believing that he has done. You thought that the first point is somewhere in his back, he found that. But reality don't believe. All in all, I just said, I trust the Lord to walk with me. He has left me with four children. I will take care of them. I will love the children very much. But I just pray and add my children to be strong. And to remember their father. To do me what he was to do in their lives. And everyone here, I'm so grateful, so, so grateful to my workmates from Apex, from Kaka, who have come in a big way to support me. Even they have even gone as far as going to a level and go to go there and just to make sure that everything is in okay. They have to the house, running around because um, uh, of the love and the uh, family meetings that they have. Thank you so much, the bond and, uh, and the meetings my team for the support. You have been with me. You called me. I don't know what to do, but you have come. Both young and old, you have come to the power. Yes, check and register this other is just a really form thank you so much and the church thank you for the support we have also come in a big way to help services in our house and I know that with all the prayers that are brought to the one everything will be okay I will not say that I am lost but I will say that I am paid to be alone thank you so much Hallelujah. Amen. And we thank God for starting in your life and in your family. Shall we all stand and sing him 177 in Wendigo? Are you to come? What to be? We to share with us the word of God. Are you to come? Verse 14 to 20. 
23. And that is what defiles a man. And he called the people to him again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a person that by going into him can defile him. But the things that come out of a person are what defiles him. And when he had entered the house and left the people, his, his disciples asked him about the Bible. And he said to them, Then are you also without understanding? Do you not see that whatever goes into a person from outside cannot defile him? Since it enters not his heart, but his stomach, and is expelled. Thus he declared all food to him. And he said, What comes out of a person is what defiles him. For from within, out of the heart of man comes evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, coveting, wickedness, deceit, sensuality, envy, slander, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within, and they Divine a person. Holy Spirit of the Lord, speak through me that your people may hear you so sensitive. Do you think all those that who are have been attributed to our brother who has escaped just a kill from outside? No. It came, those all those things came from a pure heart. A heart that is righteous. A heart that is honest, a heart that is trustworthy, a heart that is genuine. No, the people who know my girl uh, accept uh, the husbands of their sisters and their sisters. And I believe our society, if they were to reject Joseph, he would be the first. Because there is a certain attachment she is had in the last sister, Rosalind, that was so intimate. Yet he says, this was a dead woman. So every one of us who is adulterous, uh, who is dishonest, who is a thief, who is a slanderer, anyone who all the vices that has been mentioned here is part of your life. You are defiled. And you need God to save you, to cleanse you, and make you his own. This general has taught each one of us to be honest. And that water. You can still read from Gemma Joseph. The men in quotes would say they are from the Lord. Isn't it? That's why he is okay. 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 We are not standing at him. At him. Isn't it? But we are not. He is okay. He is okay. He is okay. He is okay. That is a pedigree. That is the person, not the person as a PE, whatever. The person of PA, the person. Praise the Lord. And so, Rosalind, you've not lost. 
You are just said, let's just go ahead of you, as it is written. Everyone born of a woman shall surely die. And because all of us are alive, we are all dead positive. Let our hearts be pure. Let our lives not be defined. Because only by that will allow us to live here a life in its fullness. And then live. I mean, live here a life in abundance. And then live a life in its fullness without labor. Going back to Revelation, a time is coming when the book of life shall be opened. And if your name is not there, you will be judged. For now, let the wheat and the tares grow together. For the Lord of harvest shall come, and then the tares will be harvested first. Already your kind of quarrel, Kaitike to be the pide, then you are Kaitike to be the pide, then you are With all that you have said, our brother Joseph is all. But we have the task of remaining and defying. Remain with them. Praise the Lord. Everyone who have come to interact with Joseph, you are, you are interacting with the mother and father that you have never met. Because Joseph was brought up. Joseph was taught mannerism, life mannerism. And therefore, he was able to share the same with the world. Now it is upon the world to keep that legacy alive. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ our Lord. Grounds that 
Grand Lord, that who, we who are still alive shall constantly be reminded that life is fleetingly short. Help us to therefore daily to walk in your footsteps, making the best use of our wide gardens, and living each day as though it were our last. Give us abundant grace to cope with the difficult episodes in our lives and soberness as we enjoy the light of moments through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Most merciful God, whose wisdom is beyond our understanding, we graciously in the family of Mr. Ochen in their grief. May the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, minister to them, that they may not be all the days ahead through Jesus, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, through the death of your Son, on the cross, your love overcame death for us, through his death in the hope of rising again. O oh God of the living and the dead, may those who faithfully trusted in you on earth praises you forever in the joy of heaven. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. And mercy for us, you turn the darkness of death into the dawn of a new life. Show compassion to men, to lift us from the darkness of the grief to the peace and life of your presence. Amen. You are again a restored life. May we then go forward eagerly to meet him and our on earth is over. He reunites us with our brother and sisters in the land where there will be no death and no sorrow, and wherever tear will, tear will be wiped away. Through Jesus Christ, the conqueror. Amen. Now, Joseph, may the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you, and take you to the holy city the new and the eternal Jerusalem. May the choir of angels welcome you, where Lazarus is poor and broken. May you have eternal rights through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen.
Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you that a day such like this, Joseph was brought forth into this world. It was such a joy in the family. And we thank you, Jehovah, for all that you've done with the use of his hand to make the world be a better place. Now, Lord, as we celebrate his body in silence, his spirit is with you. We have a cake here to be cut in memory and in remembrance of his birthday. May you bless it that it may nourish our bodies and strengthen our love, even in the love in the family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, Now, because Joseph is not around, and I believe I'm the one with no strings attached that can feed Rosalind and the children this cake, isn't it? Yes. So let me do it. Glory to Jesus, and the love is love. Children, come. And the love is love. So we give all the glory to Jesus, and the love is wonderful love. So we give all the praises to Jesus. And the love is love, and the love is love. We give all the glory to Jesus, and the love is wonderful love. The Jesus, the love is wonderful love. Behind the wall. 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 Now, the service leaders. Pick, pick a piece. Can pick a piece. Pick a piece. Can pick a piece. 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 Pick a so for kacham, it is not no kacham cake. I hear the idi. To man no go lie digo. Man, I think it. I'm not cake watching. Mr. Cot, Mr. Cot, and your wife. I'm here. The Lord bless you. Amen. Eat this cake. I don't know where she is. She's at Aldova, I think. 
Hey, I don't know where you Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> When you want to get a very good